The spoiler here is that you're not actually changing settings or changing the visual type. You are just showing and hiding two visuals. So this technique uses bookmarks. To do this, we need to turn on the bookmark pane and the selection pane in the view tab of the top ribbon here. So I'm gonna turn those on and I'm gonna make a new tab. I'm just gonna paste a chart on the page. So what I like to do is get both of the visuals. You can do this with more than two, by the way, if you had three or four, you could do three or four, whatever. I like to get my visuals set up the way that I want them first and then create the bookmarks. So I'm going to duplicate this visual and change the visual type to something else. So we'll make it a line chart and then create our bookmarks. So I'm gonna to go to the bookmark menu on the right hand side and click add. I'm gonna add two and then I'm gonna group them together. So to group, you just click the ellipses menu next to one of them and click on group and then drop them both in the same group. If you can get them in sometimes it's hard to get it in there okay so i'm going to rename this to a visual demo 2 and these bookmarks you want to configure very specifically so you want to go to the ellipses in the menu next to each bookmark and uncheck the data box uncheck the current page box and uncheck all visuals so you want it to be selected visuals only do that for both bookmarks. Data, current page, selected. So what we're gonna be doing is changing which visual is displayed using the selected visuals setting here. You could use all visuals on the page to do this, but if you've got a lot going on with slicers and combinations of things, it's better to just use selected visuals because you have more control. So I'm gonna rename these. I'm gonna call one of them bar chart and one of them line chart. And then we need to configure them. So I'm going to go to bar chart first. And for bar chart, what we want to do is hide the line chart. So you can use the selection pane here to show and hide things because you're going to need to have them selected. And it's really hard to select something that is not displayed. So that's why we needed to turn this on. So I'm going to hide the line chart with the eye icon next to it. And the names of these items in the selection pane are going to match whatever the title of your chart is. So if you want to make it easy on yourself, you could give each of these charts a different title so you can tell them apart easier. So we have our line chart hidden. Now I'm going to select both of them. So click the first one, hold shift, click the second one, and then go to our bar chart bookmark here. Click the ellipses menu next to it and click on update. And then do the same thing but in reverse for the line chart. So I'm gonna to go to our line chart bookmark and hide the bar chart and display the line chart. And then select both. Go to the ellipses menu next to the line chart and update it. So now when we click back and forth on these two, should essentially be having the behavior that we want. Um, what you wanna to do too is put these right on top of each other so that they aren't jumping around when people click your buttons. Um, it's easier to line everything up if you turn off the background on the top visual. So I'm going to go to the visual pane here and then the general tab effects and turn the background off so that I can get them lined up exactly. All right, so now we need to add our buttons. I'm going to go to the insert tab and insert buttons, navigator, bookmark navigator. So the bookmark navigator, you need to set to display only the bookmarks for the group that you want to show if you have multiple bookmarks for other pages in your report. So if I go to the visual tab for the bookmark navigator under the bookmark section, there's a drop down menu that lets me choose the group that we created earlier. So that was this one. So I'm going to select only that one. And then it's essentially done. You can style this now if you want to. You have to hold control when you're in Power BI Desktop in order to click the buttons and get them to do the thing. So to style this, we're just going to go to the style menu and it's got different basically groups of settings depending on the state of the button. So default is going to be whichever one is not selected. So you could set the color of the border and the text for that. I feel like that looks pretty decent. You could set this to semi bold font. And then for the selected one, do kind of the same thing, but make it more prominent. So I'm going to set the fill to purple. So that's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.